So I'm a sysadmin, and I manage about three, uh, 500 client Macs at Concordia uh, University in Fine Arts here in Montreal. And I do it almost entirely in Python, and uh, a lot of other organizations actually do as well. And there's actually a lot of people who uh, are like me and uh, use an ecosystem of Python-based tools, and so I want to show a few of these to you today. So the first one is called Monkey. It's a system for managing uh, software installations and removals on Mac clients. It's written by Greg Nagel at Disney Animation. Um, basically, you have uh, your clients, you have a package repository, and then clients uh, pull that package repo and pull whatever software has been designated for them. Um, it can be very specific if you want as an admin, or users get to use this uh, self-service application that looks a lot like the Mac App Store. <coughs> it's a native app, uh, but it contains whatever we want to provide to the users, such as pre-configured printers, VPN clients, free software, licensed software, Apple's own updates. Users don't have to be admins to actually use this, which is great. Um, so under the hood, the biz business logic is all in Python, and uh, the use of uh, the Python Objective-C bridge is what makes it actually function like a real Mac app. Uh, Monkey is used to manage over 100,000 Macs around the world, Google, Dropbox, Facebook, uh, big school districts, universities, a lot of them use Monkey. Um, next up is Auto DMG or Auto Damage by Per Olofsson at the uh, University of Gothenburg. It takes your OS X installer application, you run it, it runs the installer to a compressed disk image, and you wind up with an image you can re-image to machines quickly without ever having to do any manual steps uh, to create an image. You can add additional apps and packages as well. Again, all the application logic is done in Python, but uh, there's an Objective-C bridge to provide the, the GUI native app behavior. Uh, lastly, there's a project called Auto Package that I co-maintain. Basically, Mac admins spend an inordinate amount of time fetching updates and packaging software, deploying it when there's an, any update for anything whatsoever. Uh, so there's a command line uh, utility that I, uh, that I co-maintain with the previous two people I mentioned. Uh, all these stupid steps that, we, that people have to do every time there's a new update for anything, people can define these in a recipe in a bit similar ways to homebrew, homebrew cask type projects. Um, but uh, these are posted on GitHub and they're searchable at the command line. And there's over a thousand recipes that people have done for various tasks, combinations of these uh, for, for desktop uh, GUI applications. Uh, and so what used to be a lot of manual work and take a long time, uh, we've condensed down just to a single set of commands that you can run and it takes out all the guesswork of all these applications that we have to deploy and support. It will automatically find latest versions from update feeds and uh, uh, scrape web pages and all that. Um, and so Python in the Mac IT community has actually been really great because it's been uh, a way to teach admins who would otherwise be trying to do everything in Bash uh, how to uh, use something but higher level and use Python. And the, because there's a lot of great projects that are based on Python, there's a lot of great example code out there as well. Um, the other reason that we like Python is because Apple ships in OS X a Python Objective-C bridge. Uh, which lets you access a lot of the native uh, OS X APIs directly from scripts without ever, any, ever compiling anything or dealing much with memory management. Um, these are just a few of the APIs that people would tend to use either for system uh, routine tasks or for, uh, for user-facing tasks as well. So now I'll quickly show you how you would use um, location services, uh, the API to, to get a location of the, of the Mac. Uh, so this is just in native interpreter, uh, Apple system Python. Uh, we just have to inc uh, import the core location module, no additional steps necessary. Um, we then have to do this weird thing where we create a manager and we actually are calling alloc and init calls on a class method, but depending on the API you use, there's different ways to actually initialize objects. Um, we then have to ask it to start updating the location. We grab the coordinate from the location, latitude and longitude. Verify that we actually got something that's a bit off center. <laughs> and then we can just do something, just to demonstrate that we actually got something useful, um, open the map at the current location that we got. Um, and so that is it. Uh, thanks, everyone. That's my Twitter handle. That's my blog, GitHub. And if you've got any questions afterwards on these projects or this kind of Pi Objective-C stuff, come find me. Thanks.